gardeners in cool temperate areas, there's still time to prepare your soil for tomato season by getting some Rocket in. It's a proven biofumigant, killing off nematodes that attack tomatoes, and you'll get a quick crop before the toms go in. Suffered from pest attacks over winter? Why not plant some local natives to bring in the beneficial predators to help? Goodenia, Oliaria and Bursaria are all well known for attracting garden insect allies. Is your maidenhair looking as crisp as a chip? Don't stress. They're easily resurrected by simply trimming off the damaged leaves, keeping them damp and putting them in bright morning sun. In warm temperate areas, are your indoor climbers like Monstera adansonii looking a bit ropey? Runaway stems without leaves can be trimmed and replanted in the same pot for a fuller, bushier plant. Compact, native, tough and beautiful, it's easy to see why Corias are garden favourites. If you don't have one, you're missing out. Many are even happy in challenging conditions like part shade or dry soil. So why not put one in? Check citrus trees for swellings on young branches and stems, the signs of the dreaded gall wasp. Break out the potato peeler and shave off the bark on one side of the growth to kill the wasp larvae before they hatch in spring. In the subtropics, if your lawn is suffering from weed invasion, it may be pH. If you're on acidic soil, apply one handful of dolomite per square metre now, sweetening the soil and replenishing calcium and magnesium to give your turf the strength to fight back. Citrus fruits looking a bit unsightly and disfigured? It could be the common fungal disease lemon scab. Apply copper hydroxide to the entire plant, including the bark and underside of leaves. Repeat every third week for nine weeks and wave goodbye to the problem. Tasty, nutritious and vigorous, Malabar spinach, Bacella alba, can be started from seed in sheltered positions now. A must-have over the warmer months, the leaves of this tropical vine can be eaten raw or cooked, just like you would spinach. For gardeners in the tropics, you need to get your hands on a hog plum or Cineguelus, popular in Central America and the Philippines. The small deciduous tree produces red and yellow fruits that are like a rich acidic plum. Young leaves are also edible. If your pooch has been leaving old bones around, dig them back into the earth. The valuable embodied phosphorus will break down and feed your garden. Clean out spray equipment after each use with sugar soap diluted in warm water to prevent clogging. In arid areas, it's time to give sesame a try. This high protein crop is drought and heat tolerant and is productive on poor soil. In 14 weeks, you can expect seed pods ready to dry, harvest and turn into your own tahini. Warm weather means brassicas are starting to bolt into flower, which can be a magnet for aphids. Remove any you're not saving for seed before the hoard turns its attention to your other crops. Tomato season's starting and seedlings can be planted out now. Seedlings are ready when they have grown some true leaves and a strong developed root system. Look for roots coming out the bottom of the pot. Get outside and enjoy the weather, gardeners. And don't forget, you can always head to our YouTube channel for some inspiration anytime you want.